Guess what? The eaters on the boat will bring us this crazy summer. What are you waiting for? Let's go to those funny situations together. One more boat got stuck and many people came to help him, but all failed because the water was too shallow. Now they needed to go to sea tow service. This boat will like an uncontrollable all horse. Let's see how they stop it. Looks like this guy has found a way to control it. Let's see what he does. To be able to do this, tiny boatmen have to be secure and practice a lot. I wonder how many boats they were hurt by doing this before. A suitable ran around and many people came to help. After everyone rescued at first, a boat came to help and he was successful. Do you think this boat can go across this bridge? So let's see what happens. Wow, he was a great captain for how well he handled this situation. This is how he sank his boat. It's normal for these wild guys because it happens all the time. Welcome to Wild Guys and Murder Boats. Cuddle Lake is where people get together every year. These either didn't need a professional tow service, so they just pulled the boats themselves and saw what happened. Thank goodness no one got hurt by that rope. <laughs> the either fishes in a way that has never been done before. Yeah, the hook was so close to hitting him in the head. I guess this is his first time fishing. <laughs> His stupidity for not properly tying the boat on the trailer caused him to take this damage. She similar to suddenly realized that she wasn't wearing a life jacket. The battle captain made the boat too heavy, and the poor handling made the girls look scared. This girl fell into the water, and no one seemed to want to pull her onto the boat. We'll keep watching to see how the story goes. Yup, things got worse when she fell into the water again and shocked as she swam back to shore. To see how he can bring the fish on board. Whoa! Well, he was defeated by it. He was lucky that the propeller hadn't yet caught him. What do you want to do, back? When you want to make your game exciting and challenging, and in this moment that they create, this seems to be the Titanic last moments. Well, this is a really dumb and funny thing to say. Here's how to get your boat back to land when the gas runs out. This is a high speed boat race in Southeast Asian countries. And it's very exciting but also very dangerous. I can't think of what would happen if the propeller cut them. Oh, that is insane. What will happen when the girls want to ride on the waves? Yes, they did have a scary time when the stupid captain sped up the boat. Mm -hmm. 
After an unsuccessful fishing excursion, his boat's motor nearly fell into the river. It's almost been his nightmare. There are always dumb jokes on boats, and did you one of them? The moment a pontoon boat collided with another boat, motor rental boats don't know how to handle this kind of problem well. Fortunately, the collision was minor and caused no damage. What will they do to surprise us? <laughs> wow, you shouldn't wear a wig before getting on a jet ski. Oh, I can't believe that boat can be so full of people. Is there anyone there who can't swim? I didn't see anyone wearing a life jacket. What happens when the boats get rented and the captain doesn't have much experience? Yeah, they just made a mess with a few smaller bombs. Think they didn't go too far, thank goodness. Yes, he was trying to dock his jet ski on a rough day. Also stupid that he didn't wear love jacket as a precaution. Take a look at how smart this man is. He thinks this will give the boat enough momentum to get it off the trailer. This is a clumsy guy of today, he will make you laugh at his stupidity. He is attempting to get a use to his boat. At the first start of the engine showed sort of that something but was about to happen. Do you think his arm touches the propeller? It's too dangerous for this clumsiness. Yeah, someone might want to sink his boat this way, but I have to say that he's a good boater. When the boat hit something, the girl who was sitting in the boat with the dog was dangerously close to falling into the water. Pay attention when you get off the board and don't use your phone or you will turn into an idiot like this person. It's funny how there are three girls pushing the board but there is one guy watching and not helping. This guy driving the jet ski and the girl in the bike made a mistake when they hit the wave that made up by the boat. It was an embarrassing time for him. When the engine catches fire and burns violently, this is an unplanned event. They were lucky to have a fire extinguished nearby, which they used to put out the fire with only minor harm. This idiot neglected to secure the boat to the dock and it now drifting. He hesitates, then decided to make a daring jump in an attempt to reclaim it. But the outcome was not what he desired and he is now in the water. A man was fishing when a boat from a long way away came out and hit his boat. He might get a new boat after the lost shoot. His stupidity for not properly tying the boat on the trailer caused him to take this damage. A 
worried about this guy because it is why so many videos fail. Will he be able to do it? Oh, well done, buddy. It looks like there are more people on the boat than the number of seats allow. Oh no, today is not his fortunate day. At the boat, it dropped beneath the breeze. Possibly today trip will be delayed and moved for another day. Oh my god, they know in hell I would be able to dock like that. That's right, he snuck a nice parking place. I just don't see how he can be such a terrible driver. His boat is gorgeous and pricey, but he obviously has no idea how to utilize a fender. A big shark circles their board and strikes with a warning, making for a tense a terrifying scene. Using all the deftly, he demonstrated great insurgency and skill in navigating the raft through the water. I'm curious as to how well his presumably flawless both forms on the open water. If it works, he should make a lot of them and sell them to us. When Silas encounter manufacturer ways, this is intriguing. This guy has a hard over of the boat ramp because of his silly mistake. But he did even better the zero's love. He couldn't launch his boat on a flat water lake right now. Is it due to his drug? I'm not sure what he'll do after dragging the boat ashore. Oh my god, their pontoon boat flipped and blocking the ramp. I don't know how they did it or what went wrong. This will be an expensive lesson at the boat ramp. How much would they have to pay to fix this stupid damage? Please leave a comment for this video. A god just go get us this is in the bow of a speeding boat. What if the captain makes an error? I'm sure she'll be regretting her erotic acts by then. Oh, it's a pity that the raft could not get into the water before it failed on the way. Oh, so bad that their jet ski almost sank, and now they have to tow it back for repair. When Dad steers the boat for the troop game, a disaster happens, and the result is as we see it. She spent a lot of time fishing today, and she finally got what she was hoping for. But let's see what happens. Give him some some play because otherwise he's gonna rip those hooks out of his mouth. Congratulations, dude! And the question now is how you win it? Check it from the water. Unbelievably, their body flooded, but they are still trying to bring it to shore. I bet they won't make it back in time. Come on, boys! <laughs> yup, this guy was swimming across the lake and almost got hit by a boat. What do you think it is? Oh, that's exactly a bear. What is he doing here? Looks like he no longer set place for you to paddle. They're saving the marina because it's tipping over.
well, they did a great job without moving any boats. He was a very clever when he dig it with a hundred drill. We needed to add how to use it to the sailing guide. This is a most likely a clever idea from parents to bring their children to the boat without worrying. However, please avoid being subjective since anything may happen. Did you see surprise here? Oh, how the hell did that get there? Maybe he was drunk and grabbing the boat or they forget it was a low tide. Yup, they did have a replacement for the boat, but it doesn't look like it will last very long. Let's see whether those men on the kayaks can make it. What they should do is return and figure out a new plan. Well, why does this keep happening? How does he hurt her too much to drink? He learned a harder lesson either way and it cost him a lot. The technology problem on a cruise ship happened when the weather was bad, and more than 1,000 people had to be taken off the ship by chopper. I wonder how our ancestors used the wooden boats to cross the ocean in the past. He was fighting a fish and was very close to the edge of the cliff. This is extremely dangerous, sometimes to stay safe you'll have to give up something. Oh, it's amazing how the fish miraculously survived with that thing on its head. Can anyone help it? Oh, go figure, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that! <laughs> Oh! Are you brave enough to play the adventure game? Dance with the force of the brain of every character existence. <laughs> oh my god! Bro. Yeah! Oh, he is surfing with a shark. This is interesting, and I'm wondering if the mother shark will come to him. How do they fix a 2.5 ton boat that capsized during a boat race and did how they did it? You can estimate how long it took them to finish this. Ah. This is the shallow water in northern Australia, but jumping out of a boat and running into that wild animal would be a nightmare. Today, the water seemed pretty low and he can't launch the boat from his car. And now he has to manually launch his own boat. Some people like to get their truck wet and some people don't. Hmm, let's see if that engine will work well with his boat. It looks like it moves more slowly than an airboat. It needs a better engine. What did you think they were doing when they threw that thing into the lake? Let's see how these men fare against the luxurious swells. With such good boating skills, he should join the lifeguard team.
poor these two guys. The tidal was low and they got stuck here. And in the end, they needed the help of helicopters. They shouldn't know better the next time because what happened. Well, it is a way for someone to get into the water from such a height. They are really fun and safe. A stupid cup team put the boat across the bridge on purpose without thinking about how high the bridge was. And as you can see, this is what happened. This is how he brought the boats into the sea with his home made of four wheel. It's a really creative and smart for you to make money. Their boat's engine broke and the captain couldn't get them back to shore. Luckily for them, that would help them get back to land. Oh, he's making his way down the rushing water with some desperate thanks to the technique he's executing. A fire broke out, causing heavy damage to the tug boat. It seems the fire suppression system was not working properly. It is a really intelligent dog, and it has just leaped out to capture a lobster for him. But it is slow to get onto this boat. Most likely, it will take another 100 years to get back home. Its face was trying to tell the boat's owner that maybe it was going the wrong way. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell and leave a comment. If you like it, please share. See you night after tomorrow with more ideas on the board.